Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is. And you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Franklin. Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know? I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but... I. I I'm sorry, I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe, both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you.
What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga. Fuck off. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He's lining up camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chick. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Look, man. Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Building. 
Watch your sector. Gee, you all got away.
what's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again, huh? Bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> what the hell yo? Let me see. There's uh Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Stretch, you want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey, it's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're going to be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're going to have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you put in the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh, Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I want to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Lamar! Hey, Lamar. That was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. My man! A nigga just wanna be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's who. Mike and Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll <laughs> handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. Love your ride, huh? Oh, we creeping on some motherfuckers, that's for sure. Man, I love my homie, though. I love Lamar. When we're done with this shit, we're gonna be hanging out. Franklin, Lamar, I'm gonna even let him into the crib. Crack open a couple of brewskis, having a great time. Me, Lamar, chop. Goddamn. All right, let's clip this motherfucker and call it a day. He's right there. 
I think I know how I'm gonna send them out with the bang. God damn, this motherfucker is far away though. <laughs> damn. All right, it's fine. It's fine. I got some great product for you. Oh shit! <laughs> we got a little too excited with our uh, brand new uh, explosive product. We'll try it again. Hey. Trevor Phillips sends his regards. Let's go to Michael. Stretch. This motherfucker's been a problem for too damn long. Nobody fucks with Lamar and gets away with it, dog. It's over, bro. Disrespectful motherfucker. I'll tell you what's disrespectful. Hey, Lamar and Franklin send their best. I'll tell you right now, they're gonna have to get a stretch for you, stretch. If you know what I'm saying. No witnesses. Where's the final baller? I'm clear. Your pal Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. See, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who tanked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? What happens next is plant Steve Haynes in the dirt. Let's do it, T. I, I hated this motherfucker the most. Bring down Haynes. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! God, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this frame right? Yeah, you're looking great. Is it chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi. Yeah, what's great? Santos. A city of cellular... Oh, I'm going to give him something that's going to send those ratings through the roof. We're going to want the suppressor. This well, where is he? Is the result. Throw in a senior FIB. There he is. And you've got a unique look at what's really going on under the hood. Oh my god. Guy, what's his name? He shot him. I wasn't expecting to zoom in, but I'll take it. We gotta get out of here. Act natural, act natural.
Damn, these cops are stupid as hell. They really didn't think it was me. Wow, okay. Is that really it? I really do think we're in the clear. Damn, these uh, LSPD is stupid. Hey, Lester. I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house. It's more of a... Yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Time to pay a visit. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. Just 
put down half your outfit back in town. like humans, but I know you're reptile. I'm getting kind of bored of killing you, Prince. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. You drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team! Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah! A fellow entrepreneur! Let me buy a steak that will give you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. Love is the only thing that keeps us here. That in a binding contract. But hey, who doesn't need a better agent? We all dream of sailing into the sunset. Of course, remember, if you're sailing into the sunset and you sail fast enough, the sun never sets. Of course, fast enough in that instance would be approximately 850 miles an hour, which would be a very fast yacht. You lucky, lucky person. You've got a sunset to chase. Go get it. This is Weasel News. Gold prices spike. 
as U.S. reserves take no another one. hit. Pictures of the inside of your house. This is why people online. want to kill you. Thanks to you online won't shut up. And America, she is doomed, say fleeing immigrants. Up to four tons of gold have disappeared from the supposedly unrobbable Union Depository earlier in a dramatic raid. Having hacked into the computer system to clear an unusually large shipment of gold for transfer, the criminals hijack an armored car and convince the bank workers to give them the precious metal worth. The workers were engaged by both security death. forces and a merry Find security a happy place, but a scale, the scale of the robbery led to a spike in gold prices. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one-on-one -on -one time. Many illegal immigrants say they are warning family back. Good tea? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two, offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh, oh it's a setup, 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 it's a it's a setup, it's a setup, it's a setup, it's a setup, it's a
Texas. Is- 